Hi guys, it's Master Coach Tony Morgan and I'm with my son Miles Morgan and what we're going to do today is a massive job on this Chateau Brittany Combi SE. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the main heat exchanger inside there, the plate heat exchanger, we're going to change the divert valve cartridge, I'm going to change this component here um, because basically this body is very very old which a lot of you guys will know. You would say this body needs been to be replaced, but the problem is, to replace it, you've got this flue system, which I'll show you, it goes up there like that, across there, like that, and out. And we're quite high up, as you can see, through the window. We was gonna do electric boiler option, but because of the expense of that, customers decided to repair it so a lot of guys won't do this and Miles is going to do this job he's only 21 he's just basically become accredited very um, recently but he's very very advanced in what he's done in his bar repair accelerate training so you're going to see Miles undertake this job which a lot of guys won't even bother doing so you're going to see Miles at his best. Right, so to start off we're going to drain the boiler on. So all the pipe works beneath it so we don't need to isolate the flow and return. But we are going to shut off the cold water inlet from this valve here. I'll open the hot tap just make sure it's off. Yeah, no water's coming out. And then next, there's no drain off on this so we're going to have to do it from the PRV. So if you see around here, you see that red valve, so I'll have to stick my hand up and open it this way. I'm going to get in here and repressurise the expansion vessel to get any excess water out. So I'll just repressurise the expansion vessel. So all the water should be out of the bottom now. Right, so the first stage of this job is we're going to start with the main heat exchanger, which we're going to replace. So the first step is just removing this front cover. Just taking this off. Right, so that's off. So the next stage is taking these clips off either side. Let's get the grips on there. Right, so the next step is actually getting separating these pipes. So, because there's not much room to wiggle with, we're going to undo this connection on this side and then we can pull the pipe down. And the same on this side, we're going to take the pipe out of here and pull it down so then we can slide the old heat exchanger out. Yeah, so as you can see, I pulled this, disconnected this from the pump and turned it. So now we can pull it down, and it'll come out of here. Also removed this side, took the clip out, pulled the pipe out, so we can do the same and pull this down and separate them. Right, so it's ready to come out. We're just going to take this overheat zebra off. So it's all separated. We're just going to slide it out. Right, so we've got our new O-rings, so basically we're just going to do the reverse. We're going to put these O-rings on the pipes that we slid down. Right, so we've put our new O-rings up here, silicon them on both sides, but on this one this is the old o-ring and we don't have a new one so a little tip is what we can do is basically this side is the side that's been used over the years so we're going to flip it over 
and as you can see that side's not been used so I'm going to do that now, that's just a little tip. Right, so I've just flipped that over, I've got a brand new seal on this side. Right, so we've got our new one here, I'm just going to slide it in, <coughs> right, just the other one out. Right, so new one's in. However, on this side, the pipe is a bit angled towards us, so to we're going to need to push it back. But to determine how much we're going to need to push it back, we're going to put the pipe in and just see how much we're going to need. Right, so I'm just going to put some pressure on this right side. See it's coming down. Yep, so that's much better than what it was before. So now they're level, we can put our clip back on to get it retaining clip to keep it in place. So just over the over underneath. Right, so we're just putting the other side back. So that's in. Put our clip on. Just like we did on the other, other side. There you go. So the next stage of what we're going to do, we finished up here. We're going to change the plate heat exchanger and also replace the diaphragm inside here. So we'll start by taking this out because then that also makes it easier to get the plate out. Right, so start with this. To start off, we'll take these micro switches off, these connections to the micro switch, sorry. Like that. Move them up. And next, we're going to take this clip out. And then undo this clip. And then this will lift off. So we've got that off and um, this is your diverter valve cartridge so we're going to replace this too just to cover all bases on this boiler so if you can see this little lug here basically the cartridge needs to turn around and lift up that way and the same way going back in goes in that way and turns up over there. So now we're going to change the diaphragm inside here so we're going to have to remove these nine screws to get inside. Change the diaphragm, change the seal, so now we're going to put it back together. Right, so now the diaphragm is ready to go back in, but first we're going to take the plate out whilst we've got that extra space. So we've got our ratchet on the left side here. I'm just going to break that nut. And then we'll break the other side as well. And just give it a push and see which water, water is going to come out. Cut the plate out as you can see, keep it upright so the water doesn't spill on the electrics. And just pour it in the sink. Next, we need to get rid of the old lip seals, so I've just got a little clip here. I'm just going to flick them out. It's probably a bit easier said than done. Right, so we've got our new plate. As you can see, these are where the screws go in, but this one's in the centre of the two holes, and that one's just out a little bit further. So it only goes in one way. So let's look at you, look at the bar, and you'll be able to tell. So now I'll screw 
Bruce can go in. So now the plate's been replaced, we're ready to put our diaphragm housing back. That sits down like that. Make sure it's all the way down there. And get our clip in. Alright, so that clips in. And we've got the other one. Which goes through there, I think, this way. Right, so we've shut the hot tap, the cold water inlets turned on as you can see. So we're just going to make sure that when we do open the tap, the diaphragm's moving. As you can see, it's pushing down and going back up. So, that'll work. So we've filled up the primary side now. As you can see, one and a half up bar. So now we're just checking for leaks and the places we've worked on. So it's all looking good. Bump here. And this pipe work here. And the plate. So yeah. All good. Alright, so I've got this cover on. Now we put in the main one. Just hooks up. So now's the moment of truth, we're going to turn it on and see if it works. Yeah. Right, so the time is up. Burn is lit. So the heating's working. So we're just running it and heating now, get the air out of the boiler because we drained it down. So we'll let that run for a few minutes and then we'll try the hot water. Right, so we're going to turn the heating off now, turn the timer down, and then we'll try the hot water. Independent. Right, so as you can hear, the tap's running and the boiler's not firing up, so we're going to change this micro switch here and it, it looks a bit damaged and it's not starting the operation. Right, so our new micro switch is on, so we're going to run the tap. Sounds like it's activated. Yep, it's ignited. So we're working for heating and hot water after that big mission. Hi, if you have recently passed the ACS in the past four years, I need your full attention. Now for you guys, it's crucial to put time and effort into ensuring you get the best start to your career. So what I'm saying is if you were to invest in learning and put the right amount of time into it, you would be one of the top engineers out there. So you need to learn all the do's and don'ts. To learn from someone who has been doing the trade for over 30 years and to learn from someone who wants you to be successful. I guarantee you, if you were to invest in learning and put in the right amount of time, you would be getting way more per job than other new engineers out there. So have a long, hard think about what I'm saying, guys. The only way you're going to up your earning potential is to learn all the do's and don'ts and all the skills and know-hows is to take a leap of faith and check out what I am saying or click on the links below to start checking out different options of training courses that we do. Do them as separate courses or do them as block courses. So like I said before, Take a leap of faith and check out what I'm saying. Bet on yourself, you're going to win. A small investment for a massive return is going to be life-changing. By the way, if you're watching this video on social media or WhatsApp, go to YouTube and click on the links in the description. And I hope to see you on the program.